Hi, I'm Vivek Paswani and I'm at Star City Cinema in Matunga waiting to review Dabang 2 for you. Dabang 2 is the hottest ticket of the season. Watch out for the review right after I see the movie and I'm going right into the auditorium now. Back from Star City Cinema in Matunga where I just saw the 10 a.m. show of Dabang 2. The original Dabang was directed by Abhinav Singh Kashyap. This film has been directed by the producer Arbaaz Khan, who's making his debut as a director. Arbaaz has directed the film rather well. It's competent, it's briskly executed, it has the same flavour as the original Dabang and the colours, the look, the slightly sepia tones in the first film, uh, the kind of background music that they had, which is a very western jingle kind of stuff, everything has been faithfully retained. Prajapati Pandey, played by Vinod Khanna. Makhi Pandey played by Arbaz Khan, Rajo Pandey played by Sonakshi Sinha and the rest of the ensemble whom we saw in the first Dabang, they're all there, larger than life and doing their bit merrier than ever. Of course, Sonakshi in the first film was a very pleasant surprise. Post Rowdy Rathod and OMG and of Son of Sardar, uh, Sonakshi has become a little typecast. Uh, she is still good but I think she will need to now rewrite her book if she needs to spread her bandwidth. Arbaz Khan as Makhi Singh in his perspective is completely correct. Uh, the growth of Makhi Singh as a character is a small but significant part of the overall Dabang magic and he's done it rather well. From Makhi to becoming Makhan Chand Pandey was a little step in the right direction for this particular character ensuring that he will carry a lot more weight of the next Dabang on his shoulders. Vinod Khanna plays his Prajapati Pandey absolutely correctly. Looking old, looking a little frail, little nuances in Vinod Khanna's performance make this performance actually for Vinod Khanna one of the standout performances of his career. So now let's talk about the piece de resistance of the film. Salman Khan as Chulbul Pandey. Chulbul Pandey is Salman Khan, Salman Khan is Chulbul Pandey and they have now become one big entity. The audience loved the film. When I was sitting inside the theatre, they were dancing in the aisles. And there was only one reason for that, and that was Salman Khan as Chulul Pandey. So now we've talked a lot about the fun parts of the film. Was there anything that disappointed? Well, I don't think that the film disappoints on any level except in comparison to the original Dabang. And that's where two points in this film, Dabang 2, are less than we saw in Dabang 1. The first is the villain. Prakash Raj is a very good actor. He's a very effective actor. He's good as Bacha Bhaiya in the film. But as a villain in front of the iconic Chulbul Pandey, he falls extremely, extremely short. Chulbul Pandey required a far bigger, far more worthy opponent than Bacha Bhaiya, who was finally a local politician and a local thug in Kanpur. The second thing that I found slightly disappointing in this film was the action. The action is not as cutting edge or as ruthless as it was in the original Dabang, which leads me to feel a little disappointed. However, I can sum this up in my way by saying that Dabang was an action film treated in a light-hearted way and Dabang too is a light-hearted film treated in an action way. The music works within the parameters of the film, but the music will work because the film works, it won't be the other way around. Fevi Call as a song is no patch on Munni Badnam Hui, though Karina Kapoor springs a very pleasant surprise being a sport and shaking her hips with Salman and Arbaz Khan in this. The bigger sport is Malaika Arora, who comes and shakes a hip in Pandeji CT with Sonakshi Sinha and Salman Khan. So the music is a little disappointing. The music could have been far better. Dabang has now become a very, very successful and very, very important franchise. So fooling around with the music or the villain of this is not really going to help the franchise to have legs. However, in a Salman Khan film, nobody needs to have legs except Salman Khan and he has very, 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 very long legs indeed. So, Dabang, I'm going with three and a half out of five stars. I wish I could give them four stars, but Prakash Raj brought it down by just little this much, but yes, Three and a half stars for Dabang 2. Go to the cinema and watch it. 
you will have a ball. It is thoroughly entertaining and great fun at the movies. You can watch it with your whole family. There's absolutely nothing in this film that reeks of anything that is off-color, vulgar or shameless. On the contrary, it's actually become into a family franchise and it's great fun at the theatre. Go watch it.